My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing an easy and simple bouillabaisse. That is a French fish stew that is out of this world delicious. And of course, I'm gonna pair it with a French wine. It is a sand sear that you will just love. But let's get started. I have some veggies here that just go classic for, a, for an actual bouillabaisse. The first one here is fennel leek and some garlic. I'm just gonna cut off the fronds for these. I love when they keep the actual fennel on the fronds, but they didn't this time. And this is such a large fennel bulb, I'm only gonna use half of it. So as you can see running down through here is that uh, actual a core that you want to remove. So you just wanna take your knife and run it diagonal just like this, and that should pop right out like so. It's very easy, and you can just take your knife however you wanna cut it, and then just run along and slice everything up into nice little dices. So let's put that aside, and I'll finish that later, but I wanna get into the leek for you too. If you can't find a leek, you can actually uh, do a onion, if you would prefer an onion, that is up to you. Now, this is how I slice a leek, and I wanna show you, because leeks are very, very grainy inside. I have a great important tip. So what you wanna do with this once you have your leeks all sliced up like that, you wanna drop them into water like this. And what happens, and, and open them up, and all the soot and the grains and everything falls down to the bottom of the actual bowl there. It's really important so your actual food isn't taste gritty. So let me finish chopping up some garlic and the fennel bulb here and let's get ready to get this easy stew going. We finished chopping up our veggies and just so you know, the leeks, obviously, after I took them out of the water, I definitely dried them off. So I dried them in some paper towels. So what we're gonna do right now is add our leeks and we're gonna add our garlic in just a minute. We're gonna give a little salt here and this will help release uh, the juices from those leeks and everything. So let's give this a little stir here. And you do not want to brown this. So you want this on a medium to medium low. Uh, this will just saute for probably about five to seven minutes. I'm just putting the garlic right on top and I'll let that go. I'm gonna stir that in just a few minutes. So that is on a medium low and we'll let that sweat out. And in the meantime, let's talk really quick about this bottle. This is a wonderful sand sear. Here, take a look at it. It is Jean-Jacques Achier. It is an amazing, amazing Sancier. Uh, and what I'm getting, because I had a sip already, <laughs> but notes, heavy notes of citrus, but citrus and a lot of fruit combining at the same time. Wow, that is so good. It's bright and clean. It has notes of grapefruit and lychee with a little bit of white peach. And this will just go perfect with the shellfish. It really will. I mean, it'll be amazing. And let me just stir this around. And we're just gonna let this sweat out, like I said, for another 
probably six, seven minutes and just till it starts to get translucent. Uh, and then we're gonna hit it with our stock. Our leeks have sweat out and they're translucent and then looking perfect. Now here's a few real quick cheat uh, to make this the fast and easy booyah base. I have stock options fish stock right here. I think it's a great fish stock. Uh, you know, if you do your own fish stock, good. Do your own fish stock. But I think it's a great flavor, great option, uh, other than doing it yourself, you know, getting fish heads and carcasses and boiling them all down for 45 minutes. And to that, I have a can of San Marzano uh, diced up going right on in there. And all the exact measurements are always right down below in the description center. And on top of that, I'm just adding to give it another layer of flavor. I love this Imagine product right here uh, for their veggie uh, broth. I'm not a fan of so many veggie broths. I really am not. But I do like this Imagine brand veggie broth. Uh, so I'm putting a, a cup of that in also. And now what makes this French is uh, a French bouillon base is a saffron based. So we have our saffron right here. And it's, it's really important in this dish. So I normally steep it, but I don't need to because this is a broth based uh, dish. So I'm just break apart. Uh, the actual pieces in my hand like this and then put them right on in to the stew here and stir that in. That will just bring enormous amounts of flavor. And I have some fresh thyme right here, but I already took it off. So I'm putting some fresh thyme right now. Now I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer uh, and let this simmer for about uh, 10 minutes to bring all the flavors together. So we'll bring this up to a simmer and let it simmer for 10 minutes. In the meantime, in the meantime, we can make our roux eel. And I'll show you exactly what that is. It gives another kick and a layer of flavor to this quick and easy bouillabaisse. You always serve a bouillabaisse with a nice French loaf of toast, always. So, what we're gonna make now is what they call rouille, which is a little sauce that you spread on the toast, you put in the actual delicious bouillabaisse itself. Right now, I'm just putting in some of the bread from the French loaf, and I took the crust off, which is important. And going in there is some roasted red peppers. I have three garlic cloves going in, and here's a little bit of a kick some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper's going right on in. And we have an egg with a little bit of water, and that is an egg yolk. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a little bit of salt to begin with. There we go. And we are gonna put this on, and we are gonna drizzle. I'm gonna first put a little bit of the olive oil in there. So it has some, some kind of liquid, other than the little bit that we put in there to start off with. And we are gonna hit this on and I'm gonna drizzle inside. Now drizzle. And let it all come together here. That looks just about perfect. Let's give this a taste. Now look at this. You spread this on your bread, you put it in your bouillabaisse. base. Oh, <laughs> wow, that is amazing. You're gonna love this. So let's get our fish out that we're gonna put in here and let's start piling everything up in that bouillabaisse. base. This is where you make the bouillabaisse base your own. You put whatever fish, shellfish, you want in. You don't like shellfish? Put all fish in. You want all mussels and clams? Put all mussels and clams in. You do what you like. But right here what I have, I love an, uh, an assortment to flavor up the stock. 
since we cheated a little and bought store-bought, remember, to make this quick and fast. So I have a salmon filet here and a halibut filet. Both were fresh, but you could use frozen. If you have frozen cod that the only thing you are in the middle of the country and you only have frozen fish, use your frozen fish. I have shrimp. I left the shells on for the flavor. Deveined them with scissors, but left the shells on. Mussels, and I have uh, obviously some king king uh, crab that is gonna be amazing, king crab legs. So they're all gonna go in separately. The fish are very, very thick. These are gonna take on about 10 minutes. Now, very important tip. You are not gonna have that stock on a boil. It's gotta be on a very low simmer. You might see a bubble or two, and that's it. That will keep everything from overcooking and keeping chewy, and making it chewy, that is. So the fish will take the longest, anywhere from eight to 10 minutes. Then I'll dump in the mussels, which will take about five minutes to open up. And the shrimp will take about three minutes. And these king crab legs are already cooked through. So it's gonna take a minute to reheat those up. So everything is gonna go in separately and we'll start dumping. Now my fish has been in there for five minutes. I am gonna toss in now my clams since they will take about five minutes to open up. And when I t toss in the clams, I am going to uh, actually put a lid on to keep the steam in to help those clams open up. Before I dig in, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday. Cheers, but I can't wait any longer. I wanna dig into this boya base. Don't forget, this ruil that we did, mix it in with the boya base. It gives it so much flavor. It really does. I'm going to get a little bit of the halibut here. Oh, yes. And that broth. Mmm, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's an amazing, amazing boya base. Simple easy. Have it on the table in 30 minutes. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff, and we'll see you next week.